Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing variations. We have four kinds of variations. We have the direct variation, inverse variation, joint, and combined variation. But in this video, we will be focusing on direct variations. So in direct variations, for two quantities, x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in, in y. So these are the following statements that you are going to encounter. So again, if the x increases, the value of y also increase. And if the x decreases, the value of y also decreases. The following statement you're going to encounter, let's say we have y varies directly as x. y varies directly proportional to x. And y is proportional to x. So if you are going to encounter the following statement, then it falls under our direct variations. Now let's have this example. Write the equation for the given variation using k as the constant of variation. So we're going to write the equation and k as the constant of variation. x is directly proportional to y. So x is directly proportional. So directly proportional to y. So this will be our equation. X is directly proportional to Y. So we have K as the constant of variation. To better understand, let's have number two. The height H varies directly proportional to weight. So height varies directly proportional to weight. W, so K, W. The height varies directly proportional to weight. And for the third example, the fare, or F, of a passenger varies directly as the distance of his acceleration. So F is equal to K. So that will be the equations of our variation. As simple as that in writing the equation. Now, how to find A? How to find K, the constant of variation? Let's say we have, if Y varies directly as X, so Y varies directly as X, this will be our equation, and y is equal to 20, so we're going to substitute y is 20, and x, and x is equal to 5. So copy k, then our x is equal to 5, or we can interchange that as 20 is equal to 5k. Now let us find the value for k. We need to divide by 5 and by 5. So our k now is 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay. That is on how to find the constant of variation. You need first to write the equation of the variation, then find the constant of variation. Let's have more examples. And now let's have the following examples. The first one is, if y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 4. Find y when x is equal to 20. First step, find the equation of variation. So our statement is, y varies directly as x. 
So we have y is equal to kx. Y varies directly as x. K for the constant of variation. And y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 4. So if y is 12 and x is 4, so we have 4, then copy k. Again, y is 12, then x is 4. We need to find k. So divide by 4. So k is equal to 12 divided by 4, 3. The question is, find y when x is equal to 20. So we need to find y when x is 20. So the original equation is y is equal to kx. So substitute our k is 3 times our x is 20 now. So we have 3 times 20, that is 60. Therefore, the value of y is 60. Our three steps, first, find the equation of variation, second, find the constant of variation, and third, substitute now the value of the constant of variation, then find the value of the missing variable. Another example, number two, if y varies directly as x and y is equal to negative 18, when x is equal to 9. Find y when x is equal to 7. So equation is y varies directly as x. Now we need to substitute x is negative 18 then our x is 9. So 9 we're going to find k. First step Find the equation of variation. The second step, find the constant of variation. To find the constant, we need to divide by 9. So our k is negative 18 divided by 9, negative 2. After getting the constant of variation, copy the original equation. Find y. So we're looking for y. We need to substitute now, our k is negative 2, and x is 7. So y is equal to 2 times, a negative 2 times 7, negative 4. That will be the value of our y. And for our last example, the pressure P at the bottom of the swimming pool varies directly as the depth of the water. If the pressure is 125 pascal, when the water is 2 meters deep, find the pressure when it is 4 meters deep. So let us find first the equation of variation. So in our first sentence, the pressure P at the bottom of the swimming pool varies directly as the depth. So K of the water. If the pressure is 125 pascal, so we're now looking for the constant. So P is 125 pascal. When the water is 2 meters deep, okay, so we have 2 for D, then we're looking for K. Now we get the constant. divided by 2, so this will become 125 over 2. Or if you want to write it in the decimal, it's okay. So 125 over 2. Find the pressure when it is 4 meters deep. So we're going to find the pressure P is equal to KD. So the pressure now our k is 125 over 2 and 
the depth now is 4 meters. Okay. Pressure. Now, we need to simplify oh, by cancellation method. 4 divided by 2 will be cancelled out and 4 will become 2. So 125 times 2, that is 250 Pascal. So the pressure is 250 Pascal. So that's, it. that's the inverse variation. Hope you enjoy watching this and thank you for watching Senior Pablo.